Hey, what's up, guys? This is Fiddle Cubes here, and in this video, we will be adding in the animations to our game. So, um, the first thing we're gonna do is go into our tile class and add in a bunch of crap because the tile class will be handling all the animations. We have to start adding in all those variables. First thing is we need a set of variables for the first animation, and so have a boolean to know if this is playing. And it's gonna be set to true because when a tile first spawns in, it's gonna play this animation. Now, the way the first animation is gonna work is it's basically just gonna keep scaling up every update. So it's gonna start out at one tenth its size, and then it's just gonna keep going to like 20% of its size and whatever, and it's gonna grow. And um, yeah, so that'll look like it's spawning in. And you also need a buffered image, private buffered image. This will keep track of it without ruining the normal Im the normal image. Over here, we need a boolean for the combined animation. So if two tiles are combining, then they get bigger and like shrink down. Again, you can do different uh, animations if you want. I'm just gonna keep these simple and it looks pretty nice too. Um, the combined animation, this will be, it'll start out 120% of its size and then go down. You want the combined animation to be pretty quick. Like you could make it bigger if you want or you could make it take longer. Um, I'll show you where you can change that if you're interested. Alright, so once you create all those variables, we need to initialize them in the constructor. So, the beginning animation, is, uh, beginning image, is going to be equal to a new buffered image. Buffered image with width, height, and height, and um, we'll make it ARGB. It doesn't really matter. What does kind of matter? Um, I read somewhere that the speed at which it renders depends on what uh, pixels your screen comes in. So if they're in ARGB format, it's quicker. And if they're in RGB format, then it's quicker to do it this way. But uh, performance really does not matter in this situation. So do what you like here. And it's basically going to be the exact same thing for this one. All right, um, now there's a lot we need to add into our update function, which has been empty up until now because we need to update all of the animations. So the first thing is we need to check, should we update um, if it's the beginning animation, which will start out as true. So create an affine transform. This is for uh, scaling. Import that. First thing we need to do is translate the image. And we're going to do width of half the width minus the scale factor times the width divided by 2. So what that's going to do is it's going to go into the middle and then it's going to say, well, how big is the new transformed image? Find half that width and move it over that much. Uh, so it'll center it, you'll see. Same thing for the heights, minus the scale factor, which is called scale first, divided by the height, divided by two. All right, once we center it, we need to now trans, we need to scale it. Uh, so we're gonna scale first, scale first, now we are actually going to do the drawing, so graphics 2D, graphics 2D, G2D equals graphics 2D, and we need to get the images graphics. All right, um, we're going to first set a rendering hint. Uh, we're going to do rendering, so rendering hints are basically how we want to um, 
transform it if we want to like give it a hint basically. So we're going to do a interpolation hint and it's going to be we're going to set the interpolation type to I think by cubic. Yeah, you won't you won't really notice this cuz it'll be pretty fast, but um, this will just help keep the quality. We're going to set the color to a new color and we're basically going to clear it. So zeros all around. Then fill a rectangle. Then we just draw the image. Um, we're going to draw the image using this one image affine transform and observer. So we're going to draw the beginning image with our transform with a null observer like that. Then we're going to add to the scale first. So now it's going to get 10% uh, bigger. Dispose of the graphics and check to see if the scale first if scale first is greater than or equal to 1 then we no longer need to do the beginning animation so set that to false now this is it for our beginning animation uh, we're, we're not loading up any uh, animations from sprites so this is all done in Java you can modify this if you want it to look differently load faster or whatever else um, this is just an example of what you can do so keep that in mind so this is for combining, it's basically the exact same thing. We're actually gonna take this right here, copy that down into there. Um, let's see. So we're still gonna do this, but this is gonna be scale combine. Times that, um, this is gonna be scale combine. We're still going to set the same thing. We're going to fill a rectangle with a height. We're going to draw it. Uh, we're going to draw the tile image. And this right here should be tile image. Because remember, the beginning, it, this is getting the graphics of the beginning image. And it's drawing the tile image, which we created up here. It's normal size at whatever um, size. And then uh, we're just going to do scale combine minus equals one. So scale combine because it's going to shrink 10% each time. And if it's less than or one, less than or equal to one, then we no longer need to do that. All right. That is it for that. Now we will go to render and add in some things. First of all, we don't want to draw the tile image if the beginning animation is playing. Then instead, we want to draw the image of uh, image of the beginning image at x y null. Else, if we're on the combine animation, then we are going to draw an image image of type. Um, the combined image. Let me just check something for a moment. Uh, just to make sure. Yes. Okay. So the combined image, the combined image needs to be width times two and height times two. Because remember, this is bigger than the normal size. So if we just make it width and height, then it won't display the entire thing. So we need to make it at least twice as big. So do that and uh, go back into the render function and no. Now if we just rendered at the X and Y because the image is bigger it would be off the tile where it's like it would start in the top left but it would end up way past the bottom right. So instead we need to shift it. So um, we're going to do integer X plus half the width so we're going to move it over to the center minus the scale combined times the width divided by 2 and we're going to do the exact same thing for the y so I'm just going to move this down here and tab that over a few times it's going to be y 
height, height. So this centers it when it's bigger than um, the normal tile size, whereas uh, centering it, if it's smaller than, you do it like this. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's it. And if neither of those are true, then obviously the tile is not combining, or it's not in its beginning animation, it is just going to draw the normal image. I think that is just about it um, for this class. Let me just check. We need some uh, getters and setters, or really just some, yeah, getters and setters. So right click, go to source, generate getters and setters, and we need to set one for combine animation. And I think that's just about it. So we'll move it, we'll move it right at the bottom. So I have an is can't is combine animation and set combine anim animation all that. All right, I think that's basically it for the animation. So now, if you remember, we are already calling. Um, we're already rendering the tiles, so that'll handle that, and we're updating them. So everything should be all the animations are basically plugged in and ready to go. We just need to do one more thing, and that's this right here. Uncomment that right there. So when when they combine, you want to set the combine one to the combine animation. True. All right. Let's try this out. All right. So there are some obvious issues. And um, yeah, a lot about programming is uh, getting these issues and fixing them. Now, I won't debug it on camera, but I will. Again, like last video, I will go off camera and fix this. So I guess I'll see you guys there. All right, so that didn't take too long to debug. Basically, uh, like an idiot, when we when I copied this over, I forgot to change this. It should be combine image .get graphics, and I had beginning image .get graphics, and it should be scale combine, not um, beginning or scale first, less than or equal to one. Also, I changed this to zero point five just so the animation's a little longer. I'll show you. I'll show you how you can change that around. But yeah, uh, you'll see this in a moment. You see that four spawned in, it had that nice effect, and you see when they combine, you get that nice little pop. Um, and yeah, so now now they're spawning in like this, and it just looks much nicer. So that's just about it for the simple animations. If you want to tweak some of the values, then just go ahead and feel free to change. In other words, if I started the scale combine at 0.3, You see it's a much bigger pop, I suppose. Anyways. All right. Well, that is it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. One more thing to add on to the end of the video. Um, I forgot to add this in, and I just caught my mistake. In the set combine animation method, you want to reset the scale combined. So what was happening is if tiles had already combined, they won't combine again. So you have to reset the scale combine here. Now, you don't have to worry about for the beginning image beginning animation because tiles don't spawn in more than once but you should reset this back and yeah so that'll make sure that every tile um, so every tile looks every tile when you combine has that animation going for them anyways that's it bye